And uh, away we go with the first half with uh, the white in position. Yeah, but uh, we have to complete the lineup. We've got uh, Miriam Omono, uh, Sakala Adeneri, uh, Paulini Zulu, uh, Catherine Nkandu, captain of the side, Evelyn Mwamba, Mary Mambwe, Salome Piri, Lillian Mwaba, Maweta Chilenga, and the Trines uh, Changwe. And uh, so we are seeing now uh, the zone A in position of the ball on the far side. Just uh, playing around with the ball on the far side, entering inside uh, zone uh, B uh, territorial waters, uh, but it be cleared off the lines. A long searching ball, but uh, this completely nobody in green and the ball will roll out into touch. On the other side is uh, Milika Banda, the National Assembly goalkeeper, National Assembly, one of the uh, pioneers of uh, Zambian women's soccer. She gives it away and it's a goal. Brilliant goal on the edge of the area. She pounces on a mistake by the goalkeeper. It must be this shirt number award now. Actually, she's she um, Lillian Mwaba. Lillian Mwaba. From our Queen's Academy. Uh, there's no way me, Lillian Mwaba, with years of experience, was going to miss this opportunity. I love uh, the composure from Zone B. They are really proving a point that uh, despite uh, them being left out of uh, the national team, uh, uh, team, this is an opportunity for them to prove the coaches wrong. And already I can see some of the notable players coming out uh, so high in this particular uh, match. And I won't be surprised if some of them may find themselves in the final team to travel to Morocco for the Copa Queens. I can tell you, and now a chance now by uh, Zone A and a penalty definitely. That was a reckless challenge. Reckless challenge on uh, Noreen Betani and uh, an opportunity now uh, to level the scores. I think she's very intimidating and uh, it scores oh, out. Oh, hands by Benaya. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, the goalkeeper just uh, beaten clean, but I think uh, she went for power. Oh, yeah. It's aimed at her. Coming up with a... And a chance now for... And Good it's goal. a goal! Five, five, two goals. <laughs> so Lillian Mwawa... Celebrations are on. Look at the way she celebrates. Towards the corner flag. And her colleagues joins her. In the celebrations. Including the substitution bench. Joins in celebration. A huge goal by Lillian Mwaba. And uh, look at uh, the stands now. Uh, people appreciating uh, that goal uh, by two goal heroine uh, Lillian Mwaba. But here yeah, the aim is uh, to pick uh, the uh, best team uh, to go and face uh, the Copper Queens on the weekend of 16th and 17th. That's the weekend when we've got uh, uh, the Apsa Cup semi-finals. Uh, Red Arrows up in arms against uh, Tonka Twente Green Eagles. Then. Uh, the pensioners and the stars up in arms against the Kalampan Kana Football Club. That is Tandio with opportunity. Tandio, second and penalty has been awarded. Wow. Oh. So penalty to zone A, an opportunity for... And a red card. Wow. Oh. Ah, I feel that is very harsh it's from harsh. Sarah Seremani. I eh? think Sarah Seremani has been too harsh on the goalkeeper. Yeah. Wow. So, goalkeeper... Loveness Tonge becomes uh, the recipient of a red card. Let's wait and see. A penalty. Regina against uh, Dynes. Good work and goal and, uh, by Regina well Kambova. So the earlier penalty taker in the first half was supposed uh. to be Regina. She's now uh, converted this particular uh, a penalty uh, uh, spot. And uh, a corner uh, coming uh, for zone A, and uh, it's a long floated uh, corner, and uh, it goes in, and uh, that's an equalizer. It's 2 2. Wow, Regina Kamboma on a brace. The new captain for zone A has scored a second goal, and it is now zone A 2, zone B 2. Lirian Mwawa scored a brace in the first half, and already Regina Kamboma, she's on a brace in this uh, second half. Adineli Sakala, who finds uh, Judith Nalisheo there, but 50-50 challenge against uh, Ngosacha Wemusonda. Grace Njonginjo there, with a good cross it is. Oh, it was too much though, uh, but Mariam Mono there, Marie, with an opportunity. 
Oh, that was a great opportunity for Mario Mono, but good work by Natasha Chanda there. You Confusion in the penalty box there. Oh, yeah. And, uh, of course, uh, Zan uh, will be very lucky uh, to survive a scare. S just uh, surviving from the jaws of down the bicycle kick there in the penalty area. And uh, uh, this is a great play coming from the white jerseys. Oh. The well, so that whistle by our referee there, Sarah Seremani, marks the end of this interesting game here at Edwin Imboela Stadium. Our spores have been shared by these two sides from Zone A as well as Zone B. Otherwise, there's been an interesting game. Both teams really proved to us why they are some of the finest talents that we have in the league.